So I just watched parts of the uh, Tucker Carlson, Bill Nye debate, if you will. Um, it was probably one of the worst interviews I've ever seen in my life. Uh, Tucker Carlson, he's so defensive because he's he's not even a politician. He's just a pundit. He doesn't know shit. I don't know shit either, and that's the problem. So you can't have some douchebag with Bill Nye who knows shit. So this idea that like this guy can have a legitimate conversation and his his defense is always oh I'm open minded about the science I'm not I'm just I'm not just a, a denier or a massive skeptic but so what I saw was is a man who was very scared and very worried and very uncomfortable with himself because he didn't know anything and he had no defense mechanism so what he did was is he continuously interrupted Bill Nye. And this is a common this is a common Bill O'Reilly debate tactic. It's a common um, Ben Shapiro debate tactic. It's a common Steven Crowder debate topic. All these conservative Republicans have this specific debate tactic and they go if they don't have a defense mechanism, they don't know what to respond with. They scream and yell, which is what he does in here, so that meets one requirement. They interrupt <clears throat> they interrupt everything. That's what happened here. And then they also get emotional responses. That also happened here. So what his defense, his only defense comment was that he was basically being a pussy, claiming that um, he was, <clears throat> he just kept saying, oh, you know, I have honest questions. I'm open-minded and all this. Dog, if you were open-minded, you would have looked at the actual evidence. So... The one, the main thing that I can point to here is that what people don't seem to understand about climate change, and this is a common little thing that Republicans like to say is a little string. They go, oh, it's snowing, so there's no climate change. You dip. That's not how it works. What it is is it's uh, long periods of time, not short periods of time, because you can't, you can't have um, massive differences in short changes. Short changes will always be very similar. So, for example, it'll always snow, but hey, on average, now it's two to three degrees warmer rather than two to three degrees lower than it was before. And so there are two main, and here's the thing, okay, climate change, what it does is, is it means that because of human activity, meaning um, massive carbon dioxide um, emission from things like cars and all these different things, right, it goes into the atmosphere and I guess it can't get the fuck out. So, what, it, what results from that is a higher temperature. So, you're like, okay, why does it matter? Well, if it gets too high of a temperature, first of all, we're going to have way too... It's going to be too hot, right? We're not going to have water. There's going to be sea levels rising and all of these different things. But the main thing here is that, and this is the specific phrase you need to know, and it is that with a few degrees warmer, our ice sheets will start to melt. And they already have. So when idiots like Steven Crowder go, miss, um, ice sheets going are going away, and then he cites the, which one was the one he cited? There are two main ice sheets. One of them is gaining 86 billion t um, ice sheets per year. Um, the other is losing 269 billion per year. So when idiots don't tell you the actual number, the actual net number, what you're losing really is you're, you're losing about like 180, right? You're losing like 180 to 170 billion ice sheets per year. So that's what climate change is. So when a, a right-wing pundit like him, and this is a debate tactic of Tucker Carlson, and I know it because we've seen um, Jon Stewart go on crossfire with him, right? And um, what Tucker Carlson's debate tactics are is when he has no defense mechanism, he has no fucking clue what he's talking about, and Bill and I says, hey, you know, these people... These people can't have ski resorts in Europe because of climate change. And he goes, oh, you don't know that. What are you talking about, dude? He just told you a fact. So when this, when this dumbass is just doing that because he has no defense mechanism, you know that he's, he's a loser and he's, he's being dishonest and disingenuous. So Tucker Carlson, you can't have a pundit debate a scientist on actual um, climate change issues. So... Go ahead and look at Potholer 54's videos. The dude's really good at explaining it to dumb people. Um, and you'll be able to figure stuff out from there. But 
Tucker Carlson has been exposed as a fucking idiot, and uh, Bill Nye is dealing with these dumb fucks at Fox News all the time. And these idiots always claim, oh, you're bullying us with your facts that we're trying to deny for our personal agenda because the Koch brothers have fucking thrown billions of dollars into our pockets.